students in our last video we have completed intro theme and details of the protagonist so in this video we are going to learn the story so let us start dr sadao was a renowned japanese surgeon trained in america and an equally noted scientist who was perfecting a discovery which would render wounds entirely clean his square stone house was situated on rocks above a narrow beach that was outlined with bent pines dr sadao was not sent abroad with the japanese troops firstly because general was ailing and might need an operation any time and secondly because sadao was perfecting a discovery which was likely to render wounds entirely clean so his presence in japan was indispensable sadao's father was a downright japanese traditionalist if sadao had made a wrong choice regarding marriage his father would never have given his assent to the marriage and would have never forgiven sadao sadao loved and respected his father and did not want to annoy him so he waited to make sure about hana's identity and did not want to marry her in a hurry in america without getting his father's approval sadao met hana by chance in the american professor harley's house from where a little while ago he had wanted to run away as he was sick of the small size of the rooms the voluble lady of the house and the food that she served but that was not to be this chance and casual meeting became vital and later culminated in the lifelong union of sadao and hana as husband and wife one day dr sadao and hana happens to see some misty figure in the beach the misty figure who had been washed ashore in the front of dr sadao's house was an american prisoner of war who was badly wounded it appeared that he had been badly tortured and shot and his flesh had been scraped by the dangerous spiky rocks near the shore dr sadao and his wife were able to establish his identity as an united states sailor faint lettering on his battered cap that is spelled u s navy students both dr sadao and his wife hana had gone close to this misty figure and they found that he was a member of us navy now doctor started examining what had happened to him and why he was full of blood when he checked the blood started flowing freshly from the wound as soon as the doctor touched it because it was a gun shot wound which had not been tended for quite some time and had reopened as the rocks on the shore had torn it further apart students when he finds a person wounded he considers him as a patient and very quickly he uh, gives him medical assistance what does he do let us see medical instinct and ethics made dr sadao stop the bleeding of the american prisoner of war he immediately packed the wound with the help of wild sea moss to stop the bleeding momentarily but soon he and his wife found themselves in a dilemma so they save the mortally wounded man or hand him over as a prisoner for he belonged to an enemy country what will be their decision in this crucial situation we will find out finally both of them decided to get that enemy in their house now hana is a devoted housewife and fears that the presence of the american soldier in their house could lead to their arrest as traitors and bring shame to the family it could also adversely affect the children regarding their future and the doctor's career as well so she expressed strong reservation about sheltering the american in their home then we see dr sadao notices something crucial in prisoner of war the american prisoner of war was bullet ridden and his survival under all adverse conditions was nothing short of a miracle any other man would have collapsed due to gaping wounds excessive bleeding and excruciating pain so the doctor rightly said 
that the man has extraordinary vitality. Now, by bringing the American prisoner of war in the house, the Sadows have given shelter to an enemy. Now, whether he dies or survives, they have rendered themselves liable for punishment. If he dies, Sadao will have failed as a doctor, and if he survives, the doctor can be arrested on charges of harboring an enemy. Thus, Hana rightly fears that under all circumstances, the American is a menace. Now, servants also had very negative reaction to it. The old gardener was really upset and frightened on hearing about the wounded American sailor. In his anxiety, he pulled the few hairs on the upper lip. He was of the opinion that his master, Dr. Sadao, should not treat the white man. He felt that it was destined that the man should die because first he was shot, then he was wounded, and if the master went against the dictates of destiny, the gun and sea would avenge their master's disobedience. Here, the rocks is treated as the element of nature, and if nature is denying the life of the soldier, then Dr. Sadao should not save him. This was the opinion of old gardener. This shows that they were superstitious in nature. All the servants in the Sadao household are critical of the American's presence in the house, which sets Hana thinking about the wisdom of their decision to save and shelter Tom, the American prisoner of war. But viewed from humanitarian grounds, the decision to shelter the enemy, treat and nurse him was justified. After laying the wounded man's breast bare by Untying the knotted rugs, Hana soaked the small clean towel with hot water and washed the wounded man's face and body carefully. She kept on washing him until his upper body was quite clean. Hana had to do all this herself because Yumi, the children's nurse, had categorically refused to wash a dirty white man. When a surgeon operates on a body, he functions in a mechanical and a detached manner. A layman witnessing the whole scene cannot remain unaffected and feels upset. That is precisely why Hana feels nauseating and rushes out to vomit. Now students here we need to understand that when Yumi, the servant, denied to wash the white man, Hana herself had to do it. And Hana was... Hana had never seen such situation. She was a simple housewife and right now she was acting as a nurse. Therefore, when she saw blood and all the dirty things and uh, a man being operated in front of her eyes, she became nauseatic and started vomiting. Okay? But even though Sadao loved her very much, he could not do anything in this situation because right now he was playing the role of a doctor. Next we see, the American prisoner of war, a badly wounded man, is a source of much worry and tension for Dr. Sadao. Saving him is a challenge for his skills as a doctor. Harboring him is in-house, could lead to his arrest, and his treatment was an ultimate test of his patience. Thus, Dr. Sadao was going through so much mental conflict all because of an enemy country's sailor. So when his wife Hana nauseates during the operation and he is unable to attend to her, Dr. Sadao loses all control and says, this man, there is no reason under heaven why he should live. A psychological analysis of the general's personality would reveal that he is a cowardly person suffering from inferiority complex and believes in overprotecting himself. Such a person tends to exercise his authority on the weak and helpless, probably that is why he beats his wife. Now students, in the story we find arrival of General Takima, who is a coward according to the writer who beats his wife 
in order to show his power okay let's see what happens further and this is the general who was suffering from illness for whom dr sada was kept for his treatment all right now when hana noticed that there were deep red scars on the american's neck she anxiously and very sincerely hoped that he had not been tortured she thought so because she is a kind hearted lady and shuddered at the thought of any physical violence she knew that it was a common practice to torture prisoners of war in a brutal manner now students here we need to discuss a bit uh, more thing and that is whoever is the prisoner of war entire groups entire soldiers group will show their anger show their hatred upon them and the same had happened with this american prisoner of war it is not that japanese uh, japanese war kind hearted or americans war both of them were brutal and that it seen through this torture which was done to tom and this is what hana noticed while cleaning this white man now here dr sadao says that ignorance of the human body is the surgeon's cardinal sin and a surgeon's main field of activity is the human body and if he does not have its thorough knowledge he has no right to operate on it and if he does so does so he is committing a cardinal sin it is nothing short of committing a virtual murder dr sadao while operating the enemy says my friend and it was his habit of talking with patient while operating so here when we see uh, when one is deeply engrossed in one's work one becomes oblivious of the surroundings and often mutters a few words aloud it is often something going on in one's mind dr sadao also mutters the word my friend in a similar manner to the nearly unconscious american prisoner he is operating upon it is dr sadao's habit to murmur to his patients all doctors are trained to talk to their patients to get response from them and to comfort them however the words my friend are ironical in this instance because the patient dr sadao is operating on is actually a sailor of an enemy country a fact the doctor seems to have overlooked or forgotten while muttering these words next we see the reaction of the servants the servants informed hana that if they insisted on keeping the american prisoner hidden in the house any more it wouldn't be possible for them to stay there they were of the view that since both of them had stayed in america they had developed a liking for americans the gardener felt that the man should have been allowed to bleed to death while the cook contemptuously remarked that the master was so proud of his skill to save life that he would save any life without making a distinction between a friend and a foe on the seventh day two important things happened as far as the sadaus were concerned firstly all the servants gathered their belongings and departed in the morning without having discharged their duties secondly in the afternoon hana saw a uniformed messenger enter the house with the general's message the messenger had called on dr sadao to inform him that the old general was in pain again and needed his care however hana thought that the servants had betrayed them and the messenger had come there to arrest them for sheltering an american according to the general the germans are ruthless and don't care much about human life whereas the americans are sentimental and value life so he does not want to be treated by the doctors trained in germany and prefers dr sadao because of his dexterity as a surgeon and his humanness now the general offered to send his own private assassins to sadao's house to help him get rid of the american he further informed the doctor that they were capable assassins and without much aid and noise they would kill the man by causing 
internal bleeding they would also dispose the body he assured sadao students there is mention of an absolute state in the story which means an autocratic dictatorial state ruled by despot or a ruler where opposition of any kind is not tolerated japan during the days of the second world war was an absolute state and it was necessary for the rulers to keep assassins to silence any type of discontent or opposition against their dictates students dr sadao takes proper care of the prisoner he treats him provides lodging fooding proper medication and after recovery the american prisoner was justifiably concerned about his fate but the doctor's non committal answer i don't know now students after reading the story you will find that tom who is the american prisoner he asks doctor what he is going to do with him now is he going to give him back to the soldiers japanese soldiers or he is going to set him free then he answers he does not know because uh, yes dr sadao did not know what is going he is going to do with tom so the vaguely reply the vague reply was far from satisfactory and must have kept the young man on tenter hooks students the domestic servants at sadao's are simple folk who are very loyal to both their master and their country they know just one thing the americans are their enemies and no japanese should help or harbor them they also fear that helping and harboring the american could spell trouble for their master as well as them that is why they all are upset at the white man's presence in their master's house students afraid of being implicated by the authorities for harboring an enemy and not wanting to be called a traitor dr sadao does inform the general of the american soldiers presence at his home and agrees to the general's offer of having the man assassinated however having done that dr sadao's concise pricks him and his heart reproaches him for betraying his guest and wishing for his death so during the three nights instead of experiencing relief dr sadao remains perturbed and sleepless and on account of his fear of the assassins killing the american subconsciously he wishes that the white man survived and escaped to safely safely now dr sadao was not able to speak to the general about the assassins as he had been operated upon and the doctor was not sure whether the patient would survive or not as his gall bladder was much involved however when the general recovered after a week there was no need to talk about them as the american prisoner had been made to escape by him dr sadao felt that the general was in the palm of his hand that is that is uh, he he was under his control because he was indispensable for the general's well-being and survival the general did not trust any other doctor thus dr sadao safely confides in the general about the american sailor he knows that if he is arrested and tried to saving and sheltering an enemy sailor the general will the general will in his own interest see to it that no harm comes to dr sadao he feels safe that he is safe in informing the general of the american prisoner's presence at his home now students after sending him back to his uh, country dr sadao stood gazing at the sea after the wounded american's escape he is remembered of a few persons he had met during his stay in america he is reminded of the dull sir and his silly talkative wife where he had met hana his anatomy professor who insisted on mercy with a knife and his fat and slatternly landlady this shows that even though doctor was not warmly taken in america by few of the people 
and the ambience where he stayed was not good uh, it was hana from where uh, it was america from where he has got hana and not only that he again thinks that even after uh, not having good memory of america except hana why he was not able to kill that uh, soldier and it was all because of humanitarian uh, perspective that dr sadao had he wanted to save human being in spite of its caste creed religion and nationality that is why we see dr sadao and hana they were above the prejudices the general prejudices of car caste creed nationalism and etc okay so by this we